So as the name entails, product rule. This is where we talk about uh, the product of two functions. Okay. So let's say in a case where you've got your y, it's a product of two functions. Let's say you have x uh, plus 2 and then multiply by x squared. Um, maybe let me put it this way. 2x uh, yeah, 2x squared even plus a 1. So if you look at it, this from that point, of course this is easy because you are still able to multiply them and all that, but the basic idea is you can use a product rule in a simpler way to avoid using the power rule because you take a lot of your time. So when you've got product of functions, we use a product rule to basically help us to determine the what? The derivative. So the way it works is as follows. If you have your dy dx, you want to determine your dy dx if you've got a product of of two functions. Okay. So you're going to look at it from this way. You can determine the derivative of the first part, which in this case, you know that if you differentiate what is in the brackets there, you're going to just have a 1. To make it interesting, I can put a 4x there. So if you differentiate that, you're just going to get a 4. Multiply by the original part of the other side. So you have 2x squared maintained plus 1. And then all the same, we'll do the opposite. This time around, we'll differentiate the other part. Okay? So to make it interesting, again, I'll remove that so that I put a 3, so that you can see what's going on here. So if we differentiate what it is on in, in that other bracket, you are going to get 6x. Open the brackets. We need to multiply by the original part of the other part, which is 4x plus 2. So this becomes, if we try to open this bracket 4 times what is inside there, you are going to have 8x squared plus 4 plus 4, 6 times 4 is 24x squared, 6x times 2 becomes 12x. If we are to collect the like terms there, 24 plus 8 basically becomes 32. And then we have a 12x there plus a 4. So this becomes the derivative. Now going back to the initial step which is very important, what we have is first of all getting the derivative of the first part multiplying by the original part of the other part which now of course I've made a mistake because of the collection I made there so this changed to 3 by the way so that was supposed to become a 3 so that if you multiply it becomes a 12 now 12 plus 24 becomes 36 okay yeah all the same so taking this to be u Taking that to be V, the product rule is as simple as the derivative when you've got a product of two functions, just get the derivative of the first part, which we'll call U prime, multiply by the other one V, and then add. Now, if you look at the 6x, 6x is as a result of differentiating V, so we'll take that as V prime, and then multiply by the original other side. So, you understand that addition is commutative. It doesn't matter what you start with. So, even if you start with the derivative of the other one, it is still the same. Okay, you don't have to stress about it. But basically, this is the basic idea about the, the product rule. For your practice, feel free to just, to just pause the video and just try out this. set the power one. This is derivative resource simple. This is derivative resource simple. You can even deal but I want you to apply the product rule instead of working with the power rule. So all the same dy dx just to help you remember the formula it's there are no restrictions. Addition is basically commutative. Okay. So but I like it this way, without using the formula. The product rule tells me I just need to differentiate the first part. So 2 times 3 will give me 6. 
so you have 6x I need to multiply this by the original other part as it is and then plus so I need now to differentiate this other part I don't know why I'm coming up with such equations which are giving me the same result okay it will be different anyway 3 times 2 will be a 6 now the power reduced by 1 it becomes x squared you multiply by the original other part which is 3x squared that's the basic idea okay so I have 6x <coughs> let me just multiply 6x multiply by what is there 6 times 2 is 12 x times x to the power 3 x to the power 4 plus 1 times 6x is that 6x and then the other part is 18 3 times so that is 6 by 3 and then x squared times x squared is x to the power 4 18 plus 12 that's 30 plus 6x so that's how as simple as this is the way it will come out simply okay so later on after you've looked at the exponential functions it's going to become more interesting because you can actually have a product of the quadratic function like 2x multiplied by exponential raised to the power 2x that's also a product you can also have logs as well the same concept will still apply okay you have log x squared multiplied by a certain other function like an exponential and all so you have to apply the same principle multiply the original part by the derivative of the other okay I'll give you an example of this one just in case you are curious so <coughs> I'll differentiate the first part the derivative of 2x is just a 2 and then I'll multiply by the original other part and then this other one now I need to start with by the derivative of e to the power 2x so the derivative of an exponential function is differentiate what the power is there okay differentiate what the power is so the power in this case if you differentiate 2x which is a 2 so multiply that so it will be 2e to the power 2x the power doesn't change for an exponential function so our derivative is 2e to the power 2x that's why if you've got e to the power x the derivative is 2e to the power x because the derivative of x is a 1 1 multiplied by that nothing will change okay and then we we'll multiply by the original first part okay so you have 2e to the power 2x plus and then here if you multiply you've got a 4x e to the power 2x you can end there as your solution but most of the times i prefer to factorize e to the power 2x which is common and then remain with what in the brackets that the first part remain with a 2 the other part remain with a 4x so again 2 is still common you can still factorize it out so that you basically remain with 2e to the power 2x is common there you remain with the 1 plus 2x basically that's what you have okay so this is what we're getting now the product flow we're done let's move and look at uh, the quotient rule.